All right, if you wake up in the morning with back pain and you look like this, where you're listed or shifted off to one side and your hips are off to one side and you've got trouble walking and you've got back spasm and you can't straighten up, then I've got an exercise for you, or a couple of exercises for you. And this is because the other day, a very good friend of mine from Hong Kong started off like this in the morning and we gave him some exercises and he shifted up and straightened up. Now the reason he was shifted, because he's got an old disc problem, and he went and did a lot of training, a lot of legs, and just too much load, too short a time, and aggravated an old disc problem, and it shifted him over. Now that's due to maybe some migration of disc, but a lot of back spasm, and that he was stuck in that position. So I gave him some exercises to help correct him. He corrected it within a day, and he's back doing core training to stabilize him. So this is for you guys, who if you do wake up and you're shifted, as a general rule of thumb to help correct you, while you've got time at home and maybe you're off work before you go see the physio to help you along so this is for people who are definitely shifted off one way and you can't correct and you might have pain going backwards pain going forwards spasm in your back that sort of thing the first thing we work on is trying to correct the shift now as a general rule of thumb if the pain is on the side that the hips are shifted away to the right shoulder goes on the wall. Now it's not for every single person, so you may have to change that around and change it up. But as a general rule, you start off with trying to correct the shift. So if your hips are off to the left, we've got to try and get them to the right. Now the first thing we gave my mate was put the opposite shoulder against the wall. So if his hips were across and his pain was that side, not the right side, the pain was left side, then hips go to the wall. Now, at this point, he's still shifted, okay? So the idea was to take a bit of gravity away, lean on the wall, bit of security, bit of stability so the muscles can relax, and then trying to keep his knees straight, he would then try and slowly push the right hip into the wall. Now, you've got to be careful with this one. You don't want to go and aggravate the pain on the left-hand side and push too hard. The rule was what I gave him was trying to slowly go inwards to the wall with your hips just to where the pain is. Okay, so don't go into the pain. You go just to where the pain maybe increases a little bit. If you've already got pain here, you want to go to the point where just before it increases. Now, if this is relieving, then fine, you can go in. But if it's increasing, you've just got to touch on it and back away. So the repetitions is the key. You've got to work on maybe 10, 12, 15 repetitions, nice and slow, trying to coax the body in to going from here to here. And you, some of this is mechanical inside the back, but also it's a lot of giving that body experience that when I straighten up, I'm not going to injure myself. So the more you do that and the more messaging that goes up to your head saying he's not going to injure it, the less spasm you'll get and the straighter you'll get as well. So that's a correctional one. That's your side glides, very McKenzie approach, but it's side glides to try and actually mechanically reduce that shift and also help the brain realize it's not so sore or not so injured and you can correct up again, okay? And the spasm drops down. Now remember, this stuff is just to get you functioning, moving, walking without heaps of spasm so you can get to the physio, get it diagnosed and get further treatment from there. The next thing I gave him was some unloaded work because this is all loaded, right? This is compression down. Some people may or may not like that. They may need a reliever in between to get to this exercise which helps correct them. So the reliever is a simple rotation one. Now, if you can get on the floor, I would go for rotation. Now the trick with this is, is making sure you rotate to the correct side. So again, his shift was you know, hips out to one side, so let's say my hips are to the left side, okay? Therefore, you want to stay in a neutral position and roll your knees to the same side, all right? So my shift was, my hips were to the left, therefore I roll my knees to the left, like you're going to the painful side, okay? So remember, this is for people who the, where the pain is on the same side as the hips are shifted out. So say left for me, I'm going to go left. Now I'm going to try and keep a 90 degree sort of angle here at the hip. All right, don't worry about your knees, it's a 90 degree angle here. So I'm rotated off the left and I try and lie with my thoracic and upper body flat that way. So I'm getting sort of 
a rotation through the spine and, and the thoracic part, but you're getting a closing down on the left side of the lumbar. Now this is very relieving, all right, for people who've got left-sided problems like that. So that was a means to an end. I'd put them in there for a minute, hold that for a minute, maybe up to two minutes to relieve those symptoms, calm the spasm down. Now, what you can do is do, say, three sets of one to two minutes. Do it in between these ones. So then you might do another set of, set of 10 to 15 of these. Okay, trying to get this better. Then you might go back to the floor and go in the rotation, hold that for one to two minutes. So just sort of supersetting between those two. Now, all this is trying to do is correct you up. Now, what you can do in between your set, have a look in the mirror or a reflection in the glass and see are you, are you corrected? Are you sort of a bit straighter? As soon as you get reasonably straight, then you go for extension. Okay, because a lot of these people, they can't, they can't bend backwards either, so we've got to get that better. But there's no point trying to go backwards if you shift it out. It just won't work. So you've got to correct the shift, then you go backwards. All right, so what I'd get them doing is then going on the floor and going into your classic McKenzie passive extension. Now again, if it's a bit acute, if there's a little bit spasmy, you'll find you can't go all the way up. And you've got to try and relax these muscles and just use your arms. So again, that pushing away from the ground feeling, high as you sort of can go, if it gets a bit tight, and then dropping down. Again, slow is the key. Two seconds at the top, wait for one, two, relax your tummy, and then come down again. So try and switch all this off, try and switch all this off. It's not a strengthening exercise, it's a passive relaxation stretch trying to change mechanically what's happening in the lower back and also give that back experience that extension is okay and you don't need to spasm and I won't, I mean, won't damage you or injure you, okay? So this is ones are gonna be really important. Again, maybe three sets of 10 of that, okay? You could again superset it amongst that. Now those are the sort of first three I gave him to try and just correct them out and bang within 24 hours or even 12 hours. The next morning, he was up straight again, his pain was down. Now that's a sort of like a first aid, acute sort of thing to try and can you get straight enough that you can function, you can walk without spasm, get in to see the physio, get it released, diagnosed, other exercises to help you. Again, this may not be exactly what your problem is, but if it relieves you enough to get to that point where you can make an appointment or get in to make an appointment, then happy days. Now from that, there's a whole plethora of stretching to do and you know, if you're recovering from, say it is a disc problem or an acute flare up, there's other things to do. But what that person my mate needs to do now is to start working on some static cord it's almost lock that in so if you've got your correction right it's very easy you go sit down for two or three hours again bang off it goes again because it's only been like 24 hours so the best thing you can try and do is keep those stretches going enough to keep you straight but then magnify that by working on some static core to sort of get those muscles out of spasm and actually functioning and controlling the spine like they should be doing normally. So that would mean maybe some front planks like this, just very gentle on your knees, trying to switch your anterior core on, switch your glutes on, okay, that's a really good one to do. You could do a side plank as well, so working on that. So very easy stuff down on a low surface like a sofa just to switch things on. Again, I'd work on maybe some bridges this sort of stuff where you're working on trying to do some hinging work because these people are going to be bending down picking up things trying to be static here and moving here not moving in the spine okay so all sort of static or leg movements that involve you bracing lightly to turn all those core muscles on turn on your back muscles without them going to spasm and again you could do things like the bird dog that sort of stuff to try and improve your muscle stability and drop that spasm down your lower back. So big thing with that is make sure that you are correcting the shift first, like you're straightening up first before you go an extension and then lock it in with some gentle core work and head off to the physio. See you next time.